There is something grossly wrong. This anonymous inside source from San Onofre came forward to tell Team 10 he is worried about the nuclear power plant restarting. He is not alone. To understand the concerns, we have to take you inside the concrete containment walls, which house steam generators unique to the plant. Japanese manufacturer Mitsubishi Heavy Industries built replacement generators for the aging nuclear plant in 2010 and 2011. The new generators were designed to provide low-cost power for decades. Instead, they shut it down in just 11 months because of a radiation leak. The manufacturer, I believe, does not have an experience uh, with this size of a unit. Dr. Joe Hoppenfeld spent his entire professional life working with steam generators and nuclear power. Though he lives in Maryland, he is familiar with San Onofre, which is run by Southern California Edison. Hoppenfeld used to work for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He says the 2011 radiation leak that shut down the plant revealed a potentially catastrophic problem with the tubes that carry scalding water. As far as I'm concerned, I believe it's a very serious risk. Tubes carry water to and from the reactor core. This creates steam, which turns the turbines and produces energy. The tubes operate under very high internal pressure. There is no protection provided between the tubes, from tubes in the rows hitting each other. Our sources say the redesign of the Mitsubishi generators had unintended consequences. Tubes began hitting each other, creating cracks. These tubes were hitting each other, and that's dangerous. This safety engineer worked at San Onofre. He has 25 years experience in the nuclear field. He wants to remain anonymous because he told Team 10 he fears for his safety. When they made these changes, they did not look at the academic research. Dr. Hoppenfeld and our inside source say the tube's movement, banging into each other, led to unprecedented tube failures. Out of 19,400 tubes, the NRC found more than 17% were damaged. Hoppenfeld says the worst case scenario is a main steam line break, which he says could be caused by tubes cracking, the tube walls thinning, or metal fatigue. Our song's insider and Hoppenfeld say if there is a steam line break, there is potential for the reactor core to overheat, which could mean a full or partial meltdown. Many tubes, and I don't know how many, uh, have exhausted their fatigue life. They don't have any fatigue lab life left. SoCal Edison proposed a solution to only operate Unit 2 at 70% power. Both Team 10 sources say that may reduce risk, but is no guarantee of safety. I don't think to scare anybody. Uh, you can live there, but you should know what the risk is. Both believe no one can predict what will happen. If an accident like this were to happen, San Onofre's emergency plan is not geared to handle it, and it could cause a public disaster. Now, SoCal Edison maintains the plant is safe to restart. They declined an on-camera interview, but sent us a brief statement that reads in part, while Dr. Hoppenfeld has an extensive resume, his songs analysis is significantly flawed, reflecting his lack of specific expertise in tube vibration analysis provided by three experts that performed SCE's analysis. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries also sent us a statement. It reads in part, the design went through an extensive review process which included the participation of third-party experts and MHI believed they would operate as expected safely and successfully. No safety measures were sacrificed in the design. If a picture is worth a thousand words, this one may be worth as many questions. San Onofre's owners confirmed this was taken in Unit 3, but did not say when. The source who provided it says it was taken last December. Unit 3 is the same unit that leaked radiation in January 2012. The plant has been shut down since. The picture shows plastic bags propped up by broomsticks supported by tape covering an industrial pipe. San Onofre said in a statement, staff identified a small leak in the water box and will perform maintenance per our scheduling process. In the meantime, plastic is in place to direct the water from the small leak to a drain. We sent this picture to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They took a couple of days to analyze it and then said it is a saltwater leak and is not dangerous. They say staff at San Onofre will repair it when they have time. Team 10 sources question 
if this is the manner in which a nuclear power plant should be maintained. If that's nuclear technology at work and that's how we're going to control leaks, I think the public should know. Sources inside San Onofre want to remain anonymous. They came forward because they said the public has a right to know about the plant's condition, especially as the NRC decides whether the plant will be allowed to restart. Unit 2 is the generator under consideration for restart, not Unit 3 where the picture was taken. When the radiation leak was found in Unit 3, both generators were turned off as a precaution. So far, there are no plans to restart the generator where the picture was taken. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is considering a request to restart Unit 2 in June. I was there the day it shut down. I wouldn't trust them to turn it back on. The source also points to what appears to be corrosion on the pipe as a sign of the power plant's age. The source said rust is rampant throughout the plant, including what the source calls a fire suppression pipe, which protects units two and three. There's a pipe that runs along the security fence from one side of the plant to the other side of the plant. It's totally blistered. Rusted. Rusted. Corrosion. San Onofre spokeswoman said to take an isolated picture and leap to some kind of conclusion about maintenance is a pretty big leap. Other sources inside San Onofre told Team 10 an unprecedented level of wear and degradation, which caused the plant's shutdown in the first place, makes starting San Onofre again risky. We are dealing with unknown territory here which has never been explored before. San Onofre disputes those claims and says the plant is safe to restart. Records obtained by Team 10 show San Onofre staff were concerned about hundreds of corrosion notifications and degraded equipment throughout the plant. Staff sent a letter to management saying San Onofre clearly has a serious corrosion problem in pipes throughout the plant. This is nuclear. This should be tip top. Everything in that plant should be tip top, not bottom of the barrel. There's no mention of space or the final frontier. This is Songs Trek, a spoof brought to you by management at the San Onofre Nuclear Generating Station. It features replica uniforms and a Vulcan scientist, ears and all. If we remain in this state for much longer, we run a risk of equipment failure and crew demoralization. The video was made in 2010. It includes former Chief Nuclear Officer Ross Ridenauer. He plays Captain Kirk and no longer works at the plant. San Onofre spokeswoman would not tell us whether he was fired. Ridenauer did not respond to calls or emails. We're told he now works in the Middle East. San Onofre's current vice president and station manager is also in the video. At the time, Doug Bowder played Ridenauer's commander. So many safety hazards, lieutenants. Are you prepared to get us out of our current situation? San Onofre has been shut down since January 2012 because of a radiation leak. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission did not know about this video until Team 10 showed it to regulators. A spokesman said the NRC will be reviewing the video. Federal regulators are considering a request by Southern California Edison to restart San Onofre at 70% power in June. A source inside the plant who wants to remain anonymous says workers found the spoof inappropriate. Supposedly it was for training. How that fits in and how that works for training, your guess is as good as mine. San Onofre spokeswoman said the video was shot three years ago for an employee recognition event. The spokeswoman said the video cost $800 to make and that it was never completed or intended to be public. She said it never compromised safety. I'm counting on you to make sure our mission is successful. Sources say this video offers a rare look inside San Onofre. The plant runs by public trust, and right now the public is blind. And what they call a questionable culture, where senior management spends ratepayer money making spoofs.